welcome back to uh, Beamanga Drive Driven to Destruction and today we're gonna we're gonna drive this car it's uh, it's a boring old mom's mobile yes this look like shit hmm. It's actually pretty fun to drive, and we're gonna, we're gonna try this and see how much uh, it goes. And <laughs> right from the get-go, <laughs> the radiator is already broken. It's already dead. Next fucking car. Yeah, of course. I forget to restart the map. Fuck. Alright. Fuck this shit. I just go in from here. You can fucking restart this. Counter. If the last car was your uh, mom's car, this is your uh, Polish uh, aunt's car. Yeah. This is supposed to be uh, a Fiat Panda. That was, that was very popular in Poland. has the engine uh, in the trunk and back in the trunk and it's also a rear wheel drive I think it's really I don't know how realistic the game is uh, but uh, this I believe this little car is easily to oversteer It's basically uh, the Polish uh, version of the Porsche uh, 911. The closest car that like, come, come close to the Porsche 911. What do you guys think? Little uh, beast survive long. When will I lose the control? Drive into a tree and uh, break it. Oof. Did I just do? I really enjoy to make these uh, videos because yeah, it, it's like free content 
I, I play this uh, on my spare time and uh, when I uh, start to rec record it and put it on YouTube, it's free content, it's like, you know, of effort from my side. Uh, I can drive this. And here is the third shitty car. It's a Fiat. Also a Fiat. Front wheel drive with the engine in the front. It's obvious much more modern. It's already falling apart. Yeah, it was uh, back to what I said before the Fiat Panda broke down. Yeah, um, this is no effort to uh, my side to make this, but uh, they are not so much so popular. So I don't know. Most of you guys want to see me making uh, tutorials. And, uh, I'm gonna still do that. And, uh, I'm also gonna upload some content like this. And, uh, if you don't like this, you can upload it. Uh, and watch uh, videos you want. So. I have two main interests in it's uh, to make games and it's to play games and right now I'm into the core game genre. I also have a what is it vibe VR headset so I made some maps in the Pavlov game. Pavlov is like the VR version of Counter Strike. And, uh, I'm gonna make some uh, in, f in future. Uh, I'm gonna make some tutorials of you. Uh, you know, how you uh, use? Uh, <coughs> how you get uh, set up uh, the Unreal Engine to uh, design your Pavlov maps? It's pretty easy, but uh, you need a tutorial to understand. Uh, I needed it to make one video of you guys. It's targeting to people who own Pablo. It's a real headset to play Pablo. And want to make maps. So, that's the upcoming plan. Somewhere in the future, and, and yeah, that's the plan. Oh, this car is really broken. It's gonna, it's gonna die. There, there is the go. Good, good. This is uh, this is an amateur-made car from the the game. What the fuck was the name of the game? What was the name? What was the name of the the, the g g game? I'm gonna take a look. Yeah, automation. Yes, yes. Yes, uh, this car isn't uh, like uh, the other cars I've been driving. This is made in a game that called automation, and automation is uh, that you make, you design your own car, and you run your own uh, car empire. 
so it's it's like a Tycoon game and you can design this chassis, you can design the engine, you can uh, you can design the wheels yet I think. And you also can't the car hasn't an interior so the car the windows is all tinted black. So yeah. No interior. Uh, I think these cars are gonna be more deta detailed when uh, the automation is uh, it's it's a pre-release alpha uh, pre-beta so and, uh, but they had a function so um, you can export your creation to beam and drive. And this car model is called Uso. Everybody can see this is uh, inspired of Volvo. It has the Volvo front. Uh, on the side, it looks much like also the C pillar. It looks much like uh, uh, Audi or. That. And the rear uh, right. uh, the car faces will be uh, much different than this. Oh, this is a really nice car. When you change the camera, as you can see the interior. I'm gonna play the uh, automation car. It's a bit of an automation being a drive. Uh, they, uh, they was uh, impossible to break the engine. Watch your 
Blender uh, 3D models to uh, Unreal Engine and uh, Pablo Max. I don't really use uh, Unreal Engine uh, besides for uh, making Pablo Maps. Pablo was created in Unreal, so I'm forced to use Unreal to uh, make maps. And it's pretty decent. Uh, I really like how uh, Unreal uh, is made out uh, for map making. It's really easy to make maps in uh, Unreal. It's, it's easy to make maps in Jupiter and Planet as well. But, I think I wanna crash this, see if I can kill it. Because it's not fun to drive this anymore. We have the rocks here. is made of concrete and the wheels is gonna lo is loose now and all the headlights and stuff is just coming off like glued on a rock let's see if I can as you can see you can't you can there are no bonnet open even if you have an engine in this model, you can't open the hood, you can't open the trunks, you can't open any doors. So, this is the reason why I never play automation generated car, created cars, because they are so fucking boring. Ah, oh, shit, that's boring. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Yeah. Right. See if this can sneak around like a sneak in a box. I guess it's uh, gonna fuck up the radiator and it's gonna wait. But I'm not sure. We'll see. So far, so good. Now to the road, to the rocks. Mm. Oh, it's fine. No damage. Oh, fuck. Ok, targeting 2. Now we're gonna try this snake skin Corvette.
Corvette uh, in, uh, covered in real snakeskin, it would be awesome. It would be really cool to have a Corvette covered in real snakeskin. In real life, of course. Shoving up Corvette like, look at my paint snake. Snake all over, all over my Corvette. Complete lap, and uh, it isn't even broken down yet. It's like in mint condition. Now the rocks again. And a bit like a shark. Now the second pan. No trouble. The suspension is broken now. It's got a good condition still. The rear window is broken.
this college so long, I think I'm gonna let have this own episode. I recorded this at the same time as uh, I driven the, the shit I think suit as Tron B2 car, your mom's car, and the, uh, the other two shitty cars, uh, the Fiat, Fiat Panda and the other Fiat. Wait the box a little shit box. And then I go in for this because other cars put down so fast so but this car seems to never broke down so I think I'm gonna make two cars in two episodes. First episode when I drive the ship boxes and this episode and I'm gonna release these separate weeks. Is still looking pretty decent. Uh, they have some dents here. Uh, I don't know, exhaust pipe looking loose. Uh, it's not overheating at all. The engine is in great condition. Even the pop up lights works. Even if uh, it looks like got some dents. Only the rear window is broken. And, uh, you know, I'm keep driving this. I feel like uh, the suspension is uh, it's better worn out now. But uh, we're gonna drive this too. So I'm gonna try to avoid crashes. The steering is broken now. I feel like the, the left wheel. It's pretty odd. Still steer it, but it's it, uh, it drifting to uh, the right. I think the steering will sometime collapse. I think the steering will collapse on me, and I'm gonna crash the car. And Die and I'm gonna and I'm trying to uh, keep the car on the road as long as I can. Don't get stuck or crashing into things. Wow! Well, that was a close one. <laughs> is uh, getting pretty uh, hard to control now, I feel like it's uh, more like a challenge to keep it on the road. It's also very much bouncy. I feel like the uh, suspension and it's pretty crap now. Let's see if we can make this jump and fail. Very basic steel rims. I think it's 
bone stock. No extra stuff on it. I mean, this nice skin. I like to drive crappy cars on this map. If the car is mu too much powerful, it's easy to uh, it's too easy to crash. And if you have a shit box or a very basic low power car, it's pretty easy to stay on the road. Hit the engine, killed it very quick. From nowhere, the car was decent to not working anymore. So that was a very quick end of this car. <laughs> but uh, to look on this broken down car, it's looked like it's it's it hasn't gone one lap, but it's a, it feels like I've driven it forever. Okay, this is gonna be a very boring episode, but I'm gonna upload it anyway for you guys to hate. And uh, you're gonna feel like uh, I wasted your time if you decide to look at this, but it's your problem. I don't give a fuck. Uh, like and subscribe. See ya, bitches.